Hello guys, I'm Maddie V. Welcome to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also guys, stay tuned to the end of the video because I have a little clip where you will see, uh, learn about my giveaway and information how to enter it is at the end of the video. Now guys, let's go with the video. Let's talk about the 2022 Honda Civic Generation model. Guys, this Honda Civic is absolutely ugly and not ugly at the same time i don't know what honda civic has actually done or honda because at the same time it's ugly at the same time it's not ugly first of all the hatchback is ugly unless you get the type r the honda civic hatchbacks have always been ugly to me unless you get the type r even some certain models of type r's like the older generation type r models are ugly but i'm talking about the this generation hatchback is ugly and the previous generation hatchback is ugly unless you get the type r because somehow when you put the wing back there and put, make the exhaust look sick it doesn't look like a hatchback anymore it looks like a nice sedan that turns into a hatchback guys let's first learn about the powertrain that honda decided to put in it still comes with 158 horsepower 2.0 boring four cylinder but now it gets an upgrade you can also opt for the 1.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged that produces 180 horsepower. So you can get the 180 horsepower, which probably comes in the SI. Now guys, the the Type R is still gonna come with a 2.0 four cylinder turbocharged. And of course, I believe VTEC is offered as well, but here's another boring feature that Honda has. They have discontinued the manual option in the Civics, unless you get the boring hatchback. So basically, you're stuck with a CVT automatic transmission that does nothing to excite you. I have no idea what is there exciting about the new Honda Civ uh, Civic unless you're just going to be driving as a commuter car and probably get good gas mileage. In my opinion, it's still overpriced at $30,000 for this piece of junk, basically. And I like the previous design better than the new one. It still looks like the letter H driving on the road. It just looked like they decided not to upgrade the features or make it look cool again. They decided to go back to the generation right before last generation look. It almost looks like an older Honda Civic. The only thing different now, guys, is that it actually looks decent inside and good quality interior. What I also hate is everybody's using paddle shifters in every single economy car, basically. Honda is not has never added paddle shifters to any of his cars, as far as I know, which is stupid and boring. Honda is boring again. Honda, you gotta step up your game because you're going nowhere with this. I know I'm late at making this video, but like, Honda, what? where are you getting your ideas from? That, that, that's just what I like to know because your cars look like a letter H. The wheels are terrible. The engines, you're finally coming up with turbocharged solutions. Your Acura division is doing a whole lot better than your than your Honda division. And like, it's still... It's still not a cool car to drive around. Almost everybody owns a Civic. Everybody's still going to be a racer. It, it's just terrible. I'm sorry, guys. It's terrible. And then 0 to 60 is in 7.5 seconds. Come on. My Mazda 3 that was built in 2012 Sky Active does faster than that stock without a tune. So, guys, like, Honda, what are you trying to aim at? Like, you're claiming your, your cars are better. It, it, it's not. Maybe reliability, but at the same time... It's just a piece of junk I'm driving in the road. It's the letter H, and that hatchback is ugly. So, guys, I don't know what Honda's trying to do. The only thing I'd be interested in the Honda is that 1.5 liter turbocharged that makes 180 horsepower that I'm willing to take and tune up. But, like, I don't know if I would drive this Honda around. It, it it's it's doesn't look like a real, a real Honda, in my opinion. They have completely redone made it looking like a Corolla cross with the Honda. And I, and I don't like that. Honda needs to step up step up its game and find their footprint in the market scene. Because even the Sport Turn hatchback does 0 to 60 in 7.3 seconds. And as far as I know, it probably doesn't even hand, uh, handle well. And this miles per gallon, it does 33 miles per gallon in the city, 42 miles per gallon on the highway, 36 miles per gallon combined. Which is good, but... At the same time, my 2012 Mazda 3 Sky Active that does 40 miles to the gallon at 60 miles an hour. So, in my opinion, it's not even worth buying this car at 30,000. This car is not worth more than 16,000. They're overcharging at 30,000 dollars. You can buy yourself a used Acura TLX. You can buy yourself a used Corvette. You can buy yourself a Jeep. You can buy a whole bunch of things for a lot uh, that that is a lot cooler than the Honda Civic, and you're gonna be paying. 
for six years a whole price when you could have bought a Lexus probably or an Acura. So guys, I'm going to be ending my video. This is my opinion on the new Honda. It is just absolutely a disaster. I think Honda should redo what they've been thinking because I thought they were going in a good direction with their previous generation. But now it seems like they're just going for the worse. They're just back as boring as, uh, as I get. The only Honda I actually buy is the Type R. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Go ahead and uh, support me on Patreon. Go ahead and also help me buy a Peterbilt. And guys, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All the all the links are in the description below. I have also other links. And don't forget to get, enter my giveaway as well. All right, guys. And until next time, I'm Eddie V. Signing off. Hey, car enthusiasts and truckers and whoever's watching this channel. I am doing a Christmas giveaway on... December 25th of super clean cleaning products. There's, you're gonna get prize two. There's one prize, but you're gonna get two two things. You're gonna get a super clean tough task de cleaner and degreaser spray bottle and a super clean tough task degreaser and cleaner aerosol can. So here's what I need you to, to do, guys. I need you to be subscribed to the channel. I also need you guys to watch the video and the link. And the video in the link, I want you guys to type in Super Clean 25. That is Super Clean 25. And good luck. Not canceled. Hey guys, I'm Eddie B. Driving a 10 from the 6 Series.